Hello everyone and welcome in lockdown cooking where we're trying to cook with the minimum amount of things that are left in the fridge or in the cupboard. Um, today I want to show you a, a cheat, a quick little recipe, something very fast um, to do um, couscous. Um, couscous is means of way to do it. Uh, this is my special little recipe that I like to do. Um, so give it a try. And I hope you enjoy it. So what do we need? Um, we are using couscous of course. We're going to use a lemon. I've got um, a jar of sun-dried tomatoes here. Some sultanas. And this my little secret trick here is mint sauce. Um, now when I came to England, all my friends in Belgium said you're going to eat mint sauce, it's not good, it's disgusting. You know, it took me a year for the first time I tried and actually really love mint sauce. And I, I'm, I've started cooking with it and putting it with my couscous and it's really delicious. Give it a try if you have some left in your fridge. Okay, so I've tied my hair up, I've washed my hands, I am ready to go. The kettle is boiling, uh, it's just boiled. Um, first thing we do, we're going to put in our tray here um, our couscous. Um, so I use, you can use a quarter of a packet or half a packet, depending if you have a big family. But roughly something like this. Nah, a bit more. There you go. Okay, then I'm going to put a few sultanas in there. There we go. Just enough to cover half the surface, something like this. Okay, my mint sauce. I will use good two tablespoons of it. Now if you really like the mint sauce, you, you can use three, three of them, that's good too. Well, let's just use my whole jar. Since it's the end. Okay, then half a uh, lemon. I use the bridge technique, okay. And sometimes you get like little uh, pits in there. Um, so the thing that I like to do, just to make sure it doesn't fall in it, is I'm, uh, I'm just putting my hands, I'll just catch like the juices from it and the pits. I'm not sure if I'm going to have some today. And basically I use my fingers as um, a sieve in a certain way. So then my hands catch us. All the things we don't want. Yeah, and you can put it in the bin. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, next part. I'm going to take my sun dried tomatoes. Uh, here is a bit the same. Depending how much you like your sun dried tomatoes, uh, put a bit more or a bit less of them. They're very oily and that doesn't really matter too much um, because normally you put a bit of oil in your couscous and because they, these are oily, I don't really have to put any oil in them. There you go, again, this is the end. I can go too. Alright. And I'm just going to finely chop these sun dried tomatoes. Don't have to do it too much, just do it roughly. Okay, bring your tray a bit closer. Okay. 
Now here is a trick with couscous is to add your boiling water on top of this but just enough to cover it a little bit okay first thing I'm gonna do is just going to just mix this just right now. so that I've got a bit of oil everywhere and a bit of sultanas everywhere and so Set until you have just a, a millimeter, two mil max, just above. I don't know if you can see it. No, it's going to be a bit difficult. But yeah, that's basically it. It's as simple as that. Nothing complicated. What you do now is you take a clean towel and you're going to put it on top, just like that, and you're going to leave it for five minutes okay i'll see you back in five minutes okay now we are five minutes later if you come back eight minutes later or even ten minutes later it's not really the end of the world um it is fine okay and what we need to do now is we need to fluff that couscous that's how we call it so we're going to fluff it you're going to use a, a fork and basically you're just going to give it a bit of air just like that. And this is your couscous ready. Um, there's nothing more to do to it. I'll put a little bit of pepper just because I like it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Delicious. I even didn't have to add um, salt or anything because it has so much taste with this uh, sun-dried tomatoes, the sultanas and your, uh, your mint sauce. So it is absolutely fine the way it is like this. Um, it's such an easy recipe. It's so simple and so quick to do. Um, I absolutely love it. You can eat this cold um, or you can eat this uh, warm like it is now. That works too. Um, it goes with sausages, uh, pork chops, um, anything you like, chicken, whatever you like. Uh, so I'm going to um, let this one cool down, then put it in the fridge for later. And what I'm going to do today with this one is I'm going to do honey glazed um, pork chops. Um, so that's going to be my recipe. But that's uh, maybe a video for later if you would like to see how to do that. Okay, here we go. Give it a try. I hope you enjoy it and um, yeah, see you next time everyone, stay safe, bye!